So uh, Bitcoin price has gone through quite a roller coaster. What do you think is the high point it's going to hit? I think it'll go up forever, right? I mean, I, I think the Bitcoin is is going to it's going to climb in a serpentine fashion. It's going to advance and come back, and it's going to keep uh, it's going to keep climbing. I think that the volatility attracts all the capital into the marketplace. And so the volatility makes it the most interesting thing in the financial universe. It also generates massive yield and massive returns for traders. And that attracts capital. Like we're talking about the difference between 5% return and 500% return. Mm -hmm. So the fast money is attracted by the volatility. The volatility has been decreasing year by year by year. I think that um, that uh, it's stabilizing. I don't think we'll see as much volatility in the future as we have in the past. I think that um, if we look at Bitcoin and model it as uh, digital gold, you know, the market cap goes to between 10 and 20 trillion. But gold is, remember, gold is is defective property. Gold is dead money. You have a billion dollars of gold that sits in a vault for a decade. It's very hard to mortgage the gold. It's also very hard to rent the gold. You can't loan the gold. No one's going to create a business with your gold. So gold doesn't generate much of a yield. So for that reason, most people wouldn't store a billion dollars for a decade in gold. They would buy a billion dollars of commercial real estate property. And the reason why is because I can rent it and generate a yield on it that's in excess of the maintenance cost. So if you consider digital property, that's a hundred to two hundred trillion dollar uh, addressable market. So I would think it, you know, it goes from ten trillion to a hundred trillion as people start to think of it as digital property. What does that mean in terms of price uh, per co per coin? At five hundred thousand, right? That's a ten trillion dollar asset. Actually... At five million, that's a hundred trillion dollar asset. So I think it crosses a million. It can go even higher. Yeah, I think it keeps going up forever. I mean, there's no reason we couldn't go to 10 million a coin, right? Because digital property isn't the highest form, right? Gold was that low frequency money. Property is a mid frequency money. But when I start to, when I start to um, program it faster, it starts to look like digital energy, and and uh, then it doesn't just replace property. Then you're starting to replace bonds. It's 100 trillion in bonds. There's 50 to 100 trillion in other currency derivatives, and then the, and then and these are all conventional use cases, right? I I think that there's 350 trillion to 500 trillion dollars worth of currency currency derivatives in the world, mm -hmm. and that that and when I say that, I mean things that are valued based upon fiat cash flows. Any commercial real estate, any bond, any sovereign debt, any any currency itself, any derivatives to those things, they're all derivatives and they're all defective. And they're all defective because of this persistent 7 to 14% lapse, inflate, which we call inflation or monetary expansion.